Do you like going out? Do you like having a good time? I certainly do. I genuinely, genuinely certainly, certainly do. And I want to ask you, do you also want to be great? Do you want to achieve amazing things in your life? Do you want to look back at your life when you're 80 and be like, holy shit, I achieved all of this. Holy shit, I experienced all of this. Holy shit, I'm proud. I lived an amazing life. Do you want that? I want that for you. And today, or let me rather begin like this. If you don't know who I am, my name is Dominic and I'm an online fitness coach. I've been in the business space for two years. I've built a multiple six figure business and I've been in the fitness space for close to a decade and I've achieved a decent physique. I'm actually competing in a bodybuilding competition again, my second time in two months, super excited for that. And I'll keep you posted on that. But that's not the main thing I wanna share. The main thing I wanna share is that over that time, I've learned something that I wanna share with you today. And I had this reminder, when was it? The other day, yesterday, I think. I had this important reminder and it was at the gym. So I went to the gym, as I usually do, go like four or five days a week. And I had a conversation with a friend of mine and he was asking me like, hey, what, what are you doing this weekend? What are you up to? Uh, blah, 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 right? We had a normal conversation and I was like, huh. My first initial reaction was, it's weekend, what? <laughs> and then my second, or oh, then I told him like, yeah, not really doing anything, just, uh, yeah, doing my, my thing, doing, growing my business and stuff like that. And he was like, huh. And then he told me about all the things, fun things he's doing, like meeting a friend at a pool and things like that. And in that moment, I had the epiphany, the realization that I was like, holy shit. I can't remember the last time I actually just went out on the weekend. I can't remember the last time I went to a party. I can't remember the last time I went to a pool and just relaxed and <laughs> had a good time. And I was like, huh, interesting. And the reason I wanna share with you, or reason I'm sharing the story with you today is because I had an important reminder that the first thing is that greatness, greatness requires for you to do the things other people aren't willing to do. And the first lesson I wanna share with you today as you know, my weekly lessons is basically approaching life in seasons. And what I mean by that is, okay, cool, right? Right now you're grinding. You want this to happen. So it's like, okay, it's not going to be forever. It's just going to be for a period of time. It's just going to be for a season. And once that season is over, then you can chill a little bit more. Then you can relax a little bit more but really realizing that, okay, it's cool to, it's okay to have these seasons, whether that's a month, a year, two years, three years of just pure focus, because that brings me on to my second lesson, which is greatness takes focus. Think of it like energy, right? Why can a laser literally go through a metal wall? Because it is focused energy. Now, if that same energy was spread out, it would never go through that metal wall. And the same thing is with greatness. If you want to be great, and this is a reminder for myself, it takes focus, focused energy. And that means protecting your energy and time at all costs. That means saying no to everything and anything that is not aligned with the goal you're trying to achieve. And saying no to other things, saying no to other people, to events, means saying yes to yourself, means saying yes to a better future, to a better life. So if you're in a season right now where you want to grind, you want to put in the work, you want to achieve amazing things, just if other people tell you, hey, you need to live a little bit, what happens when you're 18, etc., just remind yourself that First of all, you shouldn't be listening to people that aren't where you want to be in terms of your goals, right? But the second thing is just remind yourself that, yo, it's just a season. I'm going to grind now. I'm going to put in the work. And as a result, my life's going to change. Because one thing I've realized is 
even with my fitness, right? I was working out for four plus years, achieving mediocre results. Why? Because I was inconsistent and I wasn't fully focused on that thing. But once I locked in, literally in eight months, eight months, I transformed from a skinny dude into like absolutely shredded. And that is because I focused, I did my research, and I actually locked in. And the same thing can happen for you. If you lock in, if you lock in and just freaking focus, your life can change in a matter of months. You can take quantum leaps. It's actually a book I'm reading right now. It's called U Squared. And if you can get yourself, if you can get your hands on it, I would highly recommend it. It just breaks your belief of or beliefs of what you truly capable of and that you shouldn't be limiting yourself. But back to back to the lessons, right? Really, really realize that saying no to other things in this season is saying yes to yourself. And there's one final analogy I want to make to bring this point home is I'm not sure if you've heard of the crab basket concept. And that is basically that you can throw when when catching crabs, you can throw them all in a bucket and they will not escape. They will not escape because when a crab try to, tries to escape, the other crab pulls the, the crab down or the other crabs. And as a result, no crab ever gets out of the bucket instead of just being like, let's help each other and let's all get out, right? And this is a great knife, life analogy because there'll be people in your life that will want to drag you down. They will not want that thing for you because they don't believe it for themselves. And to make themselves feel better, they will drag you down. They'll be like, I don't think that's possible for you. I think you're being audacious. I think you, you're over your head. And they will tell you those things. And I just try and remind myself that I will not listen to anyone when it comes to my dreams and my goals. That is not where I want to be. So those are my lessons from this week. And in terms of action steps for myself, and you can also obviously have that action step. But it's just saying no to everything, anything that isn't aligned with my goal for the next eight weeks. So my next season is the next eight weeks. And the reason for that is I'm competing in eight weeks time, actually. So I'm going to fully lock in on this, but also on the business side of things, making sure we super dialed in, making sure we're feeding families, making sure we're changing lives and overall things like that. So actually, if you want to participate I'm hosting an eight-week challenge with my clients and, and publicly as well. If you want to participate, just send me a DM on Instagram, Dom or Dominic underscore Spear, and I'll make sure to get back to you. But yeah, other than that, uh, I hope this was valuable, and I wish you all a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next one.